in Des Moines. Ronaldo Nehemiah, the collegiate record, set it as a Terp back in 1979. Ari's Merritt, meet record for Tennessee back in 2006. And Jason Richardson from South Carolina has the best mark collegiately this year. Let's take a look at the field. Richardson will be working out of lane three, the junior from South Carolina. Ty Aikens from Auburn, senior. Set a stadium record here yesterday, 13-25. And Drew Brunson from Florida State, senior in lane five. Well, if he was listening to anyone, Drew Brunson probably thought that all he had to do was just run the race. Now the whole team title situation could be on his shoulders. A little bit of pressure there. But Jason Richardson in three and Ty Akins in lane number four have been running against each other all season. Richardson broke the stadium record in the first round. Akins in the semifinals. So this should be tight. Runners are lined up. Men's 110 meter hurdles. Richardson operating out of lane three, but Ty Akins from Auburn with an excellent start in lane four. Richardson making up ground though, and Richardson takes the lead over the final hurdle and leaning in for the victory. Jason Richardson from South Carolina gets the win. Drew Brunson has done enough for Florida State, and the Seminoles are once again national champions for the third year in a row. Well, <laughs> let's take a look back at this race because it was very sloppy. And the most difficult thing you can do as a hurdler is concentrate on your own lane because generally in the men's hurdles, hurdles are flying everywhere. That's Ty Akins of Auburn in the center of your track in the white who got out very well. Jason Richardson on the right side of your screen trying to come back, but Akins hits a hurdle there, hits another hurdle there, allowing Jason Richardson back in the race. And Drew Brunson on the left side is just struggling just to get across the line as hurdles are just flying everywhere in this race. Amazing.